David. Our topic today is albumin and its function in the body. It's quite a lovely topic, isn't it, Dr. Andy? Yes, yes, I would agree. It is quite interesting. <laughs> well, let's get right to the questions then. Erica, what would you like to ask us? Well, I remember one day I read something about albumin and how it plays such an important role in fluid balance. But what is albumin? Is it some kind of sugar or something? Well, Erica. Albumin is a protein and plays an important role in maintaining homeostasis within the body and depends on the cell membrane and the transport mechanism, including diffusion, osmosis, filtration, and active transport. The structural characteristics of albumin are responsible for its function. That was very interesting. Thank you for the information. What foods contain albumin that will allow my body to function properly? Oh, your body makes it. The liver produces most of the proteins found in the blood. Albumin is a major protein made in the liver and plays an important role in regulating blood volume and distribution of fluids in the body. Albumin levels are also important in fluid balance and should be monitored closely. The protein assists in maintaining colloid osmotic pressure in the circulatory system. Approximately 70 to 80 percent of osmotic pressure is created by albumin. I don't understand how albumin regulates fluid. Do you care to explain? As the heart expands and contracts, blood is pushed through the vessels, which becomes increasingly narrower the further they get from the heart. This increases the intravascular pressure, and the fluid part of the blood is forced out of the capillaries and into the interstitial space, or extracellular space, to provide the cells with nutrients. During this time, albumin remains in blood vessels because they are too large to move out, and the high intravascular concentration of albumin creates a powerful force that attracts the fluid back into the blood vessel. Oh, so that explains my swollen foot. Yes, that is edema. If you don't have enough albumin in your body, there is no counteracting force to stop the bloodstream from pushing most of the fluids into the interstitial space. The tissue in your foot is swollen because there is an excess of fluid in the extracellular space in your foot. By consuming more protein, the fluid will be attracted back into the bloodstream and the edema will go away. And that concludes the doctor show. Thank you, David and Erica. See you next time.